namaste welcome to greet tarot so how are you guys doing i hope you're doing good i hope you're having an amazing day today so if you're new here if you like my content please support my channel or if you have already supported me thank you so very much for all the love and the support guys means a lot to me thank you thank you so very much so in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the decks that i'll be using in this reading will also be listed in the description box below okay so today's pick a card reading topic is what blessings that you don't see coming so blessings that you don't see coming that is the topic for today remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind guys and these are timeless readings as well so whenever you watch this reading might have a message for you okay so <clears throat> i have kept the four aces for you guys to select from okay so for group number one we have the ace of wands that is potency ace of cups beauty for group number two ace of pentacles with wealth for group number three and ace of swords with energy energy for group number four so you have four keywords as well so potency beauty wealth and energy so choose an ace that calls to intuitively i'll be not incorporating these uh, uh, in the reading because i haven't shuffled i've just kept for you to choose from one of the aces okay so go by the images or the color whichever calls to you intuitively choose that okay so one two three four take your time pause the video if you need to other uh, timestamps will be given in the description box i'm going to start with group number one number one if you have chosen the ace of wands with the potency let's see what is the message for you guys what are the blessings that you don't see coming right now okay so i just heard the uh, the blessing for you guys is the wait is over the wait is going to be over for you guys so that's one thing okay so maybe for some of you are waiting for something so maybe you're like no this will not happen anytime soon it will take more time but i feel like it's happening sooner than you realize okay so that's something i'm seeing here or maybe you have lost hope about something and here uh, the blessing is like don't lose hope because it's it's happening uh, yeah something that you have been waiting for is happening you're not going to be in the stuck energy forever you will be out of this stuck energy and that is the blessing i feel like here it is that you don't see right now okay maybe your view is little bit uh, you know sometimes in life that happens uh, when we don't see that much of positivity because we are feeling stuck we are doing the same thing again and again and we are not seeing any progress so maybe for some of you right now you're in that uh, that place where you cannot see that happening but here spirit is telling you to change your perspective because things are happening okay so there is a need to be for, for you guys you need to shift your perspective in a way like thinking more about the positive rather than the negative thinking more uh, how things can go right rather than thinking that how things will go wrong so that's one thing let's see what else what is the unexpected blessings coming for group number one that they don't see right now yeah wow suffering in silence and fulfillment of wishes okay so and we have the destiny so yeah for some of you it's like the wheel is turning in your favor okay so yeah look with the suffering and silence you're like i am meant to do i'm I, look with this fulfillment of wishes so your desires here the number nine we get got the number nine uh two times and it's like for some of you it's like i'm meant to live this life of suffering I, I have to I will never get what I want like maybe for some of you right now you are in that phase as I told you you need to change your perspective so you are like oh whatever I do I'm not getting my desires why why for me only this happens why I am not moving forward why my wish is not coming true like that kind of energy is there here for you guys and that's why we are told here very clearly to change your perspective to get more into positive energy the more you are in the positive energy the more things will come sooner so let go of the pessimism and uh, embrace more positivity into your life yeah sometimes it's very hard when the outer circumstances are difficult it's really hard to be in this positive state but but you need to do that you need to change your perspe perception you need to um believe in your desires you need to believe uh, in your dreams that's the thing when you believe rather than 
you know sometimes our desires becomes the cause of our own suffering right so maybe for some of your desires are uh, the cause of suffering right now so let go of the desires you so you can manifest them because manifestations work like that only so the faster you let go of these desires the faster you don't hold too tightly loosen up loosen the more you loosen it up the more faster it will come and that's how it is it's like that only and it's it's not so nice right and i have experienced that kind of uh, thing in my life when i used to hold on to something i wanted it so much so badly it will not come and then i'm like let it go i don't want it anymore like i was like yeah when it happens it will happen if it's mine it will come to me and i will just let go of it and then i'll not think about it and you know after some days it will happen so that's what it is for you guys also right now maybe for some of you have lost hope completely about your own desire and you're like no this will not happen maybe it's about a person that you are uh, with or maybe you want to get proposed or maybe your dream is to get into that uh, school university whatever it is and here things are not aligning and you are getting into this fear based energy and a little bit pessimism is there i feel like that that's what you need to let go of so you can get the wishes that you want because it's in your energy it's in your vortex but it's like you know we the emotion scale if you are down with fear and energy you're in, if you are in fear if you are angry you're not in aligned you're not aligned with your desires and it will take time to manifest so you need to align yourself with the desires for that what you need to do is to 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 get back to more to do more positive things to get out of this fear based energy and you know what the one thing is like you can only control your thoughts no one can control your own thought uh you can only change the way you think you can only release the things that are not necessary that is the thing that you can only do okay and that's the message here and the moment you think like everything will be all right the moment you surrender and give all the concerns to divine and just what work you can do if you just focus on that rather than all the other things that you ca can't do things will change for you guys and that's the thing i feel like here so definitely there is wish come there is the energy is there guys with the tarot you know tarot is, if you use as a guidance i can say that the energy is there you can you can fulfill all your wishes uh, the wishes that you have will come into fruition but but you need to align yourself with that positive energy you need to be in the vortex as abraham hicks says right if you are constantly worrying about things if you're constantly in this fear based energy if you're a pes uh, if you're always pessimistic if you're always comparing yourself to other people uh -uh, that will take more time guys but rather focus on yourself you self care take some time out do something that makes you happy go out in nature walk and the work that you can do do that and hope for the best and when you do that there is this uh, wish that will come to for you guys okay so that's there here let's see what else for my group number one and look a nine and nine the cycle of suffering is over guys for you guys maybe for some of you have been waiting for this one thing to happen you have learned all the lessons you have mastered it now all you need to do is to is to surrender guys when you surrender things will happen okay let's see what else for you guys group number 1 yeah like you have this opposition within you i feel like that look uh, imbalance a point of tension uh, and a power struggle so with this manifestation i feel like you are like yeah one day you're like yes i will make it happen i will get that and you're in this positive energy and then Uh, you do something and things doesn't manifest the way you want you are in again in this uh, negative energy you lose faith you get into this fear based energy so there is this a, a opposition that is happening inside of you and that is what you need to balance right now in order to fulfill your dreams and wishes that's the message here yeah cancer it's time to do the self care it's time to take care of your well being it's time to um uh do some activities that makes you happy 
for some of you talking uh, if you have uh, not talked to your parents or something like that i feel like it's time to talk to them or maybe for some of you this can also be the thing that you have problems with your parents or if there are problem in your family and you want to resolve that that maybe that is your wish if that is the case that's happening but first you need to align yourself you need to balance yourself the more balanced you are the more things will be balanced outside of you okay so that's the thing here uh so yeah there is this opposition is inside of you there is this opposition that you need to balance as i told you you are the only one who can control your thoughts no one else can do even if you watch a youtube video that is very positive and that is giving you guidance and that is giving you a lot of hope but if you don't allow that energy uh you know sometimes we need to take that energy that positive energy that inspiration yeah this person said that i'm i'm going to focus on that only this is going to end i'm going to balance myself if you take that and focus on that things will change but if you are in that yeah this person is just saying it this is not going to happen this is just a scam and all if you think like that yeah you will be in this negative energy only right so it's up to you i feel like it's up to you if you want this blessing to happen it's up to you right now that's that's something i'm getting here for group number 1 because look a power struggle you, you are like uh like for manifestation as i told you you need to let go you need to surrender and you're not surrendering you're holding it all it tight because you you have this fear that it will go away no no just surrender your concerns to divine that's what it is like for example if you see a bad dream uh, what you need to do is to ignore that bad dream not focus or not research about that bad dream what you uh, but when you get a good dream what you need to do is to focus on that good dream focus on that good feeling that's what you need to do right now group number 1 and when you do that when you nurture yourself and you take care of yourself when you focus more on this positive positive energy the more positive things will manifest in your life that is when the blessings will start manifesting the more you are in this uh, negative energy thinking that life will not give you what you want the more you will see that in your life okay that's the message here okay so let's see what else for you guys <clears throat> yeah i am present look you need to meditate guys you need to meditate and this is such a beautiful card with this 44 number maybe you're seeing a lot of 444 and expand your stellar gateway i am that i am you need to accept yourself guys you need to love yourself you need to take care of your well being you don't have to compare yourself to anyone you don't have to compare your journey to anyone that's what your spirit guides are telling you you are connected with the universe with this i am presence card it's like i am that i am we are all one that's the energy here but sometimes we separate ourselves from divine we feel separated so that's what i'm get, tell, getting here you need to align yourself with spirit through meditation through doing self care activities through trust through faith um by loving yourself by meditation by walking in nature by by watching something that makes you happy or by listening to chant mantras right by writing down your feelings that you don't need and burning it down right so that's something i'm seeing here and yeah when you do that and i even feel like for many of you the blessing is like you are going to feel more connected to spirit okay you're more going to i i even feel like you will be feeling more connected to yourself and that is going to be a blessing you will be connected to you know sometimes we don't accept our body we have issues with our body for maybe for some of you if you have that i feel like you're going to resolve that and you're making peace with your body you're accepting the person you are like i am that i am maybe for some of you accepting your own sexuality maybe you had issues with that but finally you know one thing for sure is if we don't accept ourselves no one will accept us so first we need to accept ourselves so others can accept us right but if we if we accept ourselves completely you know if we accept ourselves if we love ourselves if if other people don't accept us then it will not matter to us anymore right so that is also there so what you need to do is to accept yourself accept your sexuality accept your body accept the way you look 
accept who you are, what you're doing, whatever it is. Hmm? Yeah, that's the message here. So let's see. The blessing is, I feel like because we are talking about the blessings, I feel like you are going to make that peace between your heart and mind. You're letting go of the fears. You're get, letting go of the anxiety. For some of you, I even feel like you're healing your depression. You're coming out of that depressing period. You're coming out of the dark period and finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, for some of you, this is going to be a spiritual awakening. You're, you're awakened to new things, the new possibilities that you haven't uh, known before. So yeah, that's something I'm seeing here. There is a lot of new information that will be given to you guys that will be very helpful in your journey. That is something I'm seeing here for you guys. But definitely, the wishes that you have, the things that you're wishing for is definitely going to happen. But all you need to resolve is that power struggle. You need to balance your energies and you need to accept yourself. Then the final message and I have charms also for you guys today. Let's see what is the final message for group number one. Yeah, you need to let go of some memories that are you like maybe for some of you, you need to get rid of an idea that you have about yourself from the past. And can you hear me? Oh my God. Yeah, it's time to ask for guidance from spirit. It's time to um, maybe for some of you, you know, it's time to ask for help. And when you are asking for help, you shall receive the help. If you are like, oh my God, I cannot do this by myself. I cannot balance my energies. I cannot control my thinking. What should I do? Ask for help. Because whenever you ask for help, you will receive the help. So for some of you, if you are someone who is feeling very depressed, who is feeling like there is no one, no, no, you know, you cannot come out of the situation. There is no hope if you are in that situation. Ask for help from your loved ones. Ask for help if, if you, if, uh, you know, consult a counselor or, or something like that. That's what I'm getting here. For others, it's like ask for help from divine. Ask. They will give you the signs. They will give you the messages. Okay, because you're so connected with them. That's what I'm getting here. And with the treasured memories. So for some of you, it's like you're so afraid of losing something that you're holding it very tightly. And here spirit guides are telling you to let go of the, that thing. So you can invite more new things into your life. So yeah, sometimes some things, you know, you need to let go of certain things. So you can... You can have new things in your life because don't resist any kind of change. Accept the change because life is meant to change. So don't hold on to any feelings, any emotions that you no longer need. Let it go. And if you are not able to release it by yourself, ask for help from divine. And if you're someone um, who wants to help, you know, wants help from other people, ask, ask, ask. You need to ask it. Ask for support, ask, seek the help. That's the message here. And when you seek the help, you shall receive the help. So help is there. For some of you, it's like you're getting the guidance on how you can release your negative fears, your fears, negativity, and come in alignment with your desires, okay? So I feel like you will be given that help. For others, it's like you're, when the, you know, your connection with spirit is getting going to get so strong that you will get the answers and you will know what to do next hmm so that's the message here let's see the final messages for group number one yeah look oh my god look the snake the snake here you need to look again the shell it's there you need to come out of your comfort zone and start asking for help if you want like for some of you if you want help for money go and ask for help it's time to share. Don't keep things by yourself. It's time to share and ask for help. Or maybe ask for help from spirit. You know, sometimes when we ask for help, we will be given the help. So ask. Ask with faith. Right? Look with the snake. Yes, you're shedding the old skin. This old you has to go. You need to let go of certain memories that you don't, that doesn't serve you anymore the memories of the past or maybe the memory like maybe you had this idea on what kind of person you should become let go of that as well 
maybe this you know you had this idea because your parents installed something in you that's why you feel like you need to become this kind of person but maybe you're not exactly that so it's time to trust your own heart and be the person you want to become right not what other people want to wants you to become so it's like kind of accepting yourself you will be accepting yourself if you haven't yet you will be getting there i feel like the major blessing is like you will be in peace with yourself your body and you're healing your anxiety you're healing your um thoughts that you don't need and you're ready to receive help as well maybe you were not so open to receiving help now you're ready to receive help and when we are ready we receive help okay so look the keys maybe for some of you you're traveling and op- <laughs> that is also can be a new exciting event a new opportunity a new job where you have to go to some other place for a new job or maybe new place so that can be something f- coming for some of you a blessing but first you need to make peace with yourself you need to you need to accept yourself that's what i'm getting here then we have the coins as well so money money wise also some sort of blessing is coming so as i told you if you ask for help you will receive it are you someone who is open to receiving help are you someone who ask you know if you want something do you ask if you don't ask start asking for help okay and chanting meditating your third eye is going to be open that is also some sort of blessing so you will see the truth of who you are for some of you are going to be connected to your life purpose you will be very sure of what you need to do, do next so that can be a blessing as well that you don't see right now and then we have st- look the look at the number 8 infinite possibilities so what i see is like you are going to realize that you are an infinite being with infinite possibilities and you can do anything that you want to do in this in this life right so and you are you are going to understand that we are, we human beings limit ourselves by our own limited beliefs and i feel like you're going to break a lot of limited beliefs that you have about yourself and that is going to be the blessing so in a way you are going to surprise yourself and you will be like yeah in so many ways i stopped my own growth in so many ways i sabotaged myself you will be realizing it and you will be letting go of that kind of behavior that's what i feel like uh we have r and we have o as for some of you this is the clue okay so that's all i have for group number 1 hope it gave, gave you some clarity i'll see you soon bye bye group number 2 if you have chosen the ace of cups let's see what blessings you don't see coming okay so let's let me just cleanse your space and then let me start okay so for group number 2 what is the blessing that they don't see coming for group number 2 okay if you have some sort of eye issues i feel like it will be resolved okay maybe that's a blessing for some of you that you don't see maybe some sort of eye issues are there with eyes okay so it will be resolved don't worry okay so maybe for some of you third eye chakra as well uh hmm some truth will set you free and it will be a such a blessing for many of you you know sometimes we uh, because we don't know the truth we we feel imprisoned right we feel in that we are in prison and all because uh, yeah so for some of you it's like the truth is going to set you free that's something i'm hearing let's see what else is the blessing that you don't see coming group number 2 the blessing Oh wow we have choose wisely and destiny for you guys that is seven of cups and one major arcana card that is destiny and look uh, the back of the tech energy is truth <laughs> i was talking about the truth is going to set you free this truth is going to bring lot of balance into your life this is going to open lot of new opportunities for you guys so some sort of truth is going to give you a lot of opportunities maybe for some of you because of, because you will know this truth you you know you are, you will be able to imagine more for yourself like you had this limited possibilities now you have unlimited possibilities so some sort of truth is going to be such a blessing for you guys okay 
look we have seven of cups and we have destiny so some sort like if you are in crossroad if you don't know what you want to do next i feel like you will get the answer like as i told the truth will be gi given to you guys and you will know which in which direction you need to go and and when and you will know it's like with this look there is this direction this direction this direction there are five directions and this person is contemplating which direction should i go which which path should i choose and as i told this truth will be given to you and you will know exactly what you need to do and and when you take that action look the destiny that wheel will turn in your favor and it this yeah that's what i'm getting here <laughs> the, tr the truth will be out then you will ex you will be like yes this is what i want to do and i'm going to go and move move forward even if i don't know what's ahead i'm just going to take that leap of faith and and that will change your life in so many ways and with this destiny card it's like uh things will be in your favor this is like you are aligned with your purpose you are moving towards your destiny it will feel so good <laughs> maybe this can be a career path as well it can be a person it can be about a choice that you want to make you will be making the exact exact choice that is best for you and you're going to move forward and this will lead to a lot of happiness lot of emotional satisfaction okay hmm that's the thing so i feel like until now maybe now also you don't know the truth about a situation you don't know the truth and so you will receive the truth you will receive your answer and then you will be able to make a choice and move forward and through that everything is going to change for you guys so there are major changes that is happening for you guys maybe for some of you will be moving from a different uh, may, maybe you will be moving to a different place maybe you're with someone and you don't know the truth uh, truth you will receive some sort of truth and because of it you will be able to move to an entirely different different direction you're going to go in a different direction the yeah and that this direction will be such a blessing for you guys maybe right now you're not ready for this new direction but uh, that's what you're not seeing right this is going to be such a blessing this new direction will be such a blessing for you guys for some of you it can be an entirely different career path maybe you are not ready to change your career but things will happen in a way where you will receive the truth and you will you will take the exact same exact steps i feel like you know your intuition is going to be so strong that you will take the steps and that is the blessing here even though even though when you're making the decision you might not be happy but the you know the things will flow and you will be like thank god i took this took this leap of faith thank god i took uh this road right because this road led me to the destination uh to the destination that i wanted i dream i was dreaming of this destination and that is where you're reaching that's what i'm getting here okay yeah let's see what else and look the birds are flying they're free you're freeing yourself from something or someone some situation and you're moving in a direction of freedom and that's why i'm telling even though you don't know where you're going the destination where you're going you will be very happy that yes i i'm here i'm in this place this is what i wanted right so yeah the outcome is going to be amazing look sagittarius Oh, luck is on your side. That's also I'm getting here. Optimism, exploration, and freedom. Look at the words: optimism, exploration, and freedom. So you're getting that freedom. As I told, I was like there were the birds flying. I told you, freedom. You're freeing yourself from something or someone, and you're moving in a direction that you want to go. Even though you don't know what is the destination is, but you will be happy that you took this road because the destination you're going is. going to be amazing i just repeated that that's what i'm getting from this card also that's why i'm seeing it look at the bow and the arrow right so it's like your you are <clears throat> your shot is at the target right where you wanted to shoot that is where you are shooting so your eye focus is awesome i took talked about something about eyes as well like your focus is so good like you're very skilled at it you know what's best for you because you're seeing the truth so maybe for some of you this truth is like you know uh, this is the truth you're seeing your third eye is open so you know know what's best for you so the people around you might be doubting you and it's okay if they doubt all you need to do is to be 
faithful in yourself have faith and take action guys for some of you maybe you're planning to travel somewhere and people around you are like no 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 don't do this at this time this will not work out but it's going to work out for you guys so yeah <clears throat> some sort of decision that you will be making will change the course of your life and it will be such an amazing blessing for you guys so if you are choosing something if you have you know if you are if you are in this crossroads where you want you have made a decision and you even though other people are not happy with your decision go with your decision go with your heart because this will lead to so much of happiness yeah and uh, all you need to do is to be ready to explore a lot of new things right yeah you will be exploring a lot of new things you will be learning a lot of new things about yourself about other people right so be ready for that so be ready for a lot of adventure <laughs> yeah life is getting uh, getting adventure adventure rest for you guys that's what i'm getting here so yeah so yeah it's, i feel like your eyes are on the prize and you will receive the prize uh, why i'm getting when we go to a carnival there are a lot of uh, lot of games right where we have to uh, put the ring on the correct thing and we will receive that thing right like it's like yeah you're going to receive that thing you're receive you're going to receive your because your focus is so good you, you know what you want to do so take action and you are clear you're going to get freedom as well freedom may, maybe financial freedom maybe you want emotional freedom what is the freedom you want like maybe you don't want to depend on other people and you are getting that as well your um, you are like i can do things by myself uh, yeah you are going to do things by yourself this is the independence you maybe you want independence and that's what is happening here so let's see what else you are freeing yourself from other people's lies and your own lies that you made made you know sometimes we make like i cannot do this i'm not capable that is a lie because we don't want we feel scared because of fear comes but that's not the truth and now you are like you are you have bigger goals for you you ha you are seeing yourself in a different light and that's such a blessing here yeah manifest your dreams <laughs> focus on your vision seek satisfaction and contentment yes definitely maybe for some of you you need to buy a home and now around people around you are telling no 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 don't buy this home this is not good investment but you know it this is the best this, that's the best investment for me and while you are making plans you are uh, writing your goals like maybe for some of you are manifesting you are scripting for that and um, and when you do that opportunities will be presented to you guys right and so yeah that's what it is you're making this choice and you're going to be so happy with the outcome <laughs> that's what it is you are going to manifest your dreams so believe in yourself keep on doing as i told keep your eyes on the prize right so don't uh, divert because other people are telling something else because you have you are going to manifest your dreams if it's a house if it's a career if you want to travel somewhere Yes, you're going places. You're going places. You're going going to see new places, new people, a lot of adventure, and this is going to be exciting for you guys. So I'm getting a lot of happiness as well as coming with this. So for some of you, it can be uh, you're moving to a different country because your loved one or a, your partner is there, and your people around you are telling that's not a good decision. but you know that this is the best for you guys for you and all and uh, yeah if you if you feel like it's the best for you if your heart guides you to do that go ahead with it because you will be very happy that that yes i made this decision <laughs> because you're seeing very clearly let's see and look at the number 22 maybe july 22 or june 22 might be important date for you guys 22 maybe some sort of travel you're doing on 22nd i don't know but definitely 22 looks important for you guys mm. and number 9 as well for some of you definitely maybe your dream is to buy a new home and that's going to happen <laughs> maybe uh, right now you don't see it but it's happening maybe you maybe you are searching for homes new home you're planning to buy nothing is happening it is going to happen and it is going to happen at a place that you want with the environment you know the people around will be so positive that is the environment you're getting job as well wow look 
under my umbrella so this is the major blessing that you don't see is that your spirit guides your angels your archangels are around you protecting they're showing you the truth so all you need to do is to trust your intuition guys so if you have already trusted and made the decision trust everything is going to be in your favor you're going to see a lot of things a lot of new things you're going to explore you're going to see not a lot of new people new connections it's going to be awesome okay you're going to be protected so you are in divine's protection and if something is not happening right now it's just because divine is protecting you you need to understand that and there is such so much more joy and happiness that is going to happen for you okay so if you were looking for a home everything finalized and the end nothing uh, something went wrong and you were not able to have that home it's because something nicer something better is waiting for you okay so understand that so yeah and later you will know why that thing happened yeah you cannot see that right now so if something has gone wrong it's for your own best because it was not the best thing you deserve the best <laughs> group number two okay if, if a relationship didn't work out it's because something new someone good better than that is waiting for you something like that is there okay you're very much protected and i even feel like a new friend is coming your way okay if you don't have good friendships in your life i see a very very stable friendship this friend is going to be so protective of you <laughs> uh and uh, it's it's going to be a very beautiful connection very beautiful soulmate connection i am getting friendship for some of you okay maybe you're going to move to a different country there you might meet a friend and your connection with that friend will be very very solid you know sometimes good friends are, are all we need <laughs> yeah that kind of good friend who will be there for you guys in your sorrows in your happiness i feel like that is also happening for you guys or if you have already a friend that you feel like is like that yes this guy's friend is your blessing <laughs> you're lucky to have this friend so let's see uh what are the final messages for group number 2 wow look yeah for some of you krishna's blessing krishna is definitely protecting you maybe your krishna's uh, devotees you always call upon krishna so the grace of krishna is there on you the blessings are there krishna is protecting you for some of you as i told you archangel spirit guides krishna is always there for you guys you're protected guys if something is not happening the way you want it's only because you're protected hmm understand that look you are a gem and i even feel like you're going to meet a gem as i told you a, a friendship a partner or a uh or you, maybe for some of you you are recognizing your own self worth and you're not taking other people's advice because you know what's best for you and uh, your self worth is getting better that is also something i'm getting here yeah you're releasing what you don't need anymore you're releasing people situations that you don't don't need any more okay so don't be afraid to cry don't afraid uh, you know uh, cry whenever you feel like crying cry because crying is such a good form of releasing <laughs> releasing that uh, pain and all right cry don't hold your tears tears don't hold your yeah pain let let it go release it uh, we have the words f d and um, o maybe that means something to you <clears throat> again freedom with this bird yeah so freedom you're getting your freedom guys as i told the truth is going to set you free and you're getting your freedom and that's going to the blessing yeah and you will be you, maybe for some of you if you're hoping for something look you're trying to manifest your dreams so hold your vision you will <laughs> um but maybe the way you wanted it it might not happen that way it will happen in a different way but that will be the best for you <laughs> and again pentacles ground your energy connect with nature money wise also again a star isn't it maybe for some of you someone is looking above who has passed loved a loved loved person loved yeah passed one like loved person um uh, a family member who have passed on uh, yeah loved loved ones who have passed on definitely i feel like they're looking for you they are protecting you maybe that is also there there is lot of protection here and look you are healing from your past this as i told you are healing you are setting yourself free 
and you are the alchemist you're becoming the alchemist of your own life and again the with this lizard and manifest your dreams keep on manifesting because the dreams that you have for yourself is going to happen but in a way that is very different you know maybe you're expecting it in a different way it will happen in entirely different way <laughs> yeah so yeah look take action guys keep on take action take action keep on uh, putting the positive thoughts it's going to happen your dreams are coming true maybe you don't see it and and definitely in a very in a very different way <laughs> it's not the way you want it's completely different so that's all i have for group number two hope you enjoyed i'll see you soon bye bye number three if you have chosen the ace of pentacles let's see what is the message for you guys I've, I'm getting the message, main message for you guys is your psychic abilities is going to be heightened. That is a blessing that you don't see it yet. So your intuition is going to be very, very strong. And for some of you, there is a good news hap coming your way. Maybe you uh, in your family or uh, someone is getting pregnant. And I feel like the child that is yet to born, you you, you're going to have a very solid connection with this young kid, <laughs> this child, okay? and after after the birth of the birth of this child you will be becoming very lucky like they are going to like yeah that's what i'm getting even if it's your uh, sister's kid or um, if there is a kid that is on the way i feel like this kid is going to bring a lot of happiness and prosperity into your life as well okay let's see what else for group number three wow we have foundation and achievements four of wands look at the rainbows here maybe for some of you if you have asked a sign from spirit please uh, spirit guys show me a rainbow uh if this thing will happen or not maybe if you have asked have, have if, if you have asked a sign for a rainbow that is your sign okay that's a very specific message <laughs> for some of you out there okay if you have asked it that's your sign mm, okay <laughs> let's see what else? Hmm. We have num three of wands and four of wands. Wands energy, fiery energy, right? In the back of the deck again, we have the number four with authority. This is the emperor card. Okay, so the major blessing for you guys is some sort of new, new partnership is coming. For some of you, this can be a, a business partnership. That is going to bring a lot of happiness exciting events into your life for some of you you are signing contracts like you you are buying a land or a property yeah with this hand partnerships and like you are see, seeing this person you are talking with them you're buying their property and making it making it yours own and then you are going to build a home there so something like that maybe buying a land for some of you Maybe right now you're like, no, 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 I'll not be able to buy this. I don't have the money, but yes, this is coming. For some of you are going to make a very big purchase. Maybe buying a home that you want, buying a land. For some of your business partnership, a collaboration that will bring a lot of success, achievements into your life. For some of you, the main thing main I'm getting is like, you will be protected, you will be stable. Uh, yeah, and as I told, some sort of celebration, <laughs> like maybe some of you, as I told, someone in your family is giving birth and this child is going to bring a lot of happiness into your life. After the birth of this child, you're, you are going to receive a lot of success <laughs> that you don't see right now. Yeah, and you will be feeling uh, very good about it. You will be feeling in your own power. It's like you will, like sometimes in your career, uh, even though things are Things outside of us feel stable. We don't feel stable from inside. What I'm seeing for you guys is like the stability is within you. You're feeling very stable. You're like, yes, my career is going to rock or my house is going to be good. My relationships are going to be good. I have stable relationships. I have a stable career. Like in your inside, in your inside, you feel like that, that everything is going to be good. And you're you're getting there. <laughs> and isn't it that of amazing feeling? And And that's such a blessing not you know even there are so many people who have a lot of money but they don't feel stable and so that's why maybe they go for more and more and more they seek they keep on seeking everything and there is no end for seeking here what i'm getting is like now you're feeling that stability inside of you so you don't have to seek you know that everything will flow to you right and that's where you're getting and wow that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> you're feeling in your power you're making correct decisions for yourself, okay? 
definitely signing a property something like that is going to happen that you don't see it yet or maybe contract of some sort or maybe you are getting a contract to build a building something like that that will be a life changing thing for you guys because it will give you a lot of profits something like that or maybe for some of you <coughs> it can be marriage as well <coughs> as i told you after <coughs> for some of you i'm sorry and uh, maybe you are um, giving birth uh, yeah maybe you are uh, you are the one who is giving birth to a kid and uh, um, after the birth of this child you will um you will be able to buy a land buy a property uh, build a house okay for others it's like your sisters or your brothers kid will come and and because after i know it's like this kid is bringing you a lot of luck into your life i don't know why i'm getting that but that's what i'm getting here <coughs> i'm so sorry for this <coughs> okay yeah <coughs> i'm sorry pal number 3 <laughs> okay Mm, um yeah mm. for some of you this is a dream that you have been waiting for for so many years maybe this house that you wanted is your dream but finally it's happening for some of you this is a business that you always wanted to start and finally this is happening for some of you this is a dream career that you've been waiting for and finally you're getting this and this opportunity and finally it's happening and you're looking at it th- at that thing and you're feeling so proud of yourself and you're feeling so stable from inside you're feeling in your power that's the energy here and that's the blessing here okay group number 3 and i'm sorry again <laughs> uh let's see um what's the message for group number 3 what's the blessing that you don't see coming <coughs> <coughs> mutable now we have the <clears throat> sign of sagittarius by c is um gemini and uh, virgo okay mutable signs and we have a star here <laughs> and maybe for some of you you have a st- same uh, exact tattoo i don't know a uh, very specific there as well surrender fluidity and welcoming change yes things are going to change uh, all you need to do is surrender guys i feel like you are someone um who doesn't like that mat- that much of change your resist change a lot okay <laughs> that's what i'm getting here so here it's time to flow like water because when you flow like water that is when things will move as it should so surrender to divine okay uh yeah like i'm getting with these two hands we cannot hold the water the water will leak and go anyway so it's don't hold something uh too tight let it go and when you let it go that is when amazing things happen that is when uh yeah that is when the change happen so what is the one thing that you are holding too strongly that you need to let go of Uh, or maybe a thing that you need to surrender to divine do that because after uh, you know when you surrender that is when things will flow okay uh, don't be afraid of change don't be afraid of new things <laughs> okay don't be afraid of that yeah, so yeah so surrender whenever you're feeling stressed whenever you're feeling lot of emotions and you know that these emotions are not good for you surrender it and go with the flow and whenever you are thinking too much about your future all you can do is to look at your own achievements compare yourself to your past past self and you know and you will know how far you have come and you have come this far so you will you will succeed in your life as well you know keep that faith that's what i'm getting here uh, so let's see maybe whenever you're feeling very stressed go near a water body it will help you relax maybe listening to ocean waves will help you relax or maybe listening to dolphin sounds will help you relax there is a lot of meditations uh, like that on youtube if you can listen it it will be amazing for you guys yeah <clears throat> let's see what else mm, we have ascension planes 
Merge with light, ignite keys and codes. We have number 27. Uh, we have all the colors we have this pink color here we have white we have green we have yellow light so uh, and again we have the rainbows as well isn't it so li life uh, life is becoming m more colorful uh, life is not going to be black and white for you guys there is a lot of color <laughs> that is coming and with this ascension flames you're moving you're ascending guys you're moving uh, your uh, your vibration is very high i have to say uh, yeah you're you're becoming a very, very positive person, very, very optimistic person and keep on doing that job because you're doing amazing with that. Okay. And I feel like with this uh, a nine number as well, you have learned a lot of things. You have mastered certain things. All you need to do is to apply that into your life. Maybe you're someone who have read a lot of self-help books, right? Now, what you need to do is to apply that rather than learning more and more and more, apply the things that you have learned because that will change your life. For so uh, in a very good way so there is a lot of good changes that are going to come investments good investments you're going to make I feel like that uh, there is a lot of small small happiness as well uh, that will be coming your way maybe small small achievements that will be coming your way and will make you so happy but at the end the goal that you have I feel like for this pile you have a very big goal and uh, this big goal that you're thinking about it's not because you're uh, daydreaming or you it's not because of your wishful thinking it's because divine wants you to think that thing it's like divine is giving you that desire because you're meant to achieve that thing so yes even if your desire is feel if you even if you feel like your desire is too big it will take a lot of time keep on thinking that desire it's because for, it's for you guys i feel like this desire is happening for a reason you're meant to have that thing in your life so keep on desiring keep on aspiring right yeah you are meant to have that and um, for some of you i even feel like you have a very strong connection with archangels uh, maybe you work with them if you're doing it keep on doing it because they, you are you are being protected and guided by your angels okay uh, yeah, <clears throat> I, I even feel like maybe for some of you, you need to work on your chakras, you need to balance your chakras. If you're doing that, I feel like uh, you're going to balance that. Listen to, uh, uh, yeah, listen to chakra meditation. That will also be very beneficial. Okay, uh, so let's see. For some of you, I'm even getting like your healers and you're understanding, you're going to understand how much healing capability you have like maybe for some of you under, underestimating your power but as uh, as you move forward in your journey you will realize that how powerful you are uh, let's see what else group number three yeah for some of you with this can you hear me <laughs> i feel like you are meant to help a lot of people guys that's what i'm getting here you're meant to help a lot of people who are in their troubled times. You're going to, you are going to be such a blessing to other people. Um, yeah. And uh, I even feel like, can you hear me? And I was talking about your connection with Archangels are very, is very strong. Uh, I feel like we receive this card for a different pile as well, for group number one as well. But for them, it's a different thing. For you guys, I feel like all you need to do is to ask for, for help from your spirit guides, angels, and you will receive it. That's one thing. That's your blessing. And the other thing is like you are someone who will help other people in their difficult times. Look at the water and water, right? You will help them to get out of their emotions. You know, sometimes our emotions uh, makes, makes us drown, right? And you are someone who is going to take them out and give them oxygen, right? Like they can breathe again, right? So that's something I'm seeing here for you guys. And so one thing you need to do is to value your own work. Be proud of who you are. You're doing amazing. <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. So I feel like your spirit guides are telling you to appreciate yourself more, okay? So let's see what else uh, with this charms for group number three. Oh, again money for some of you look again um, we have this um, for me this mirror is all about self-love and for you guys I feel like you are going to help people with their image self-image self-worth because you are someone who have learned it hard way that uh, our self-worth is so important for our own growth and you are someone who is going to give that information give that teaching to other people 
that's what I'm getting here and look anchor look don't give up on your dreams plans don't give up on your big desires big plans because it's there for a reason because you can achieve it right and yes the love that you give I feel like for many of you you might be cancer signs cancer I'm getting water signs here oh pile number three you might be water sign you don't have to be but maybe there is cancer in your chart as well and uh, it's like you are very hard from outside but you're so soft from inside right and I feel like uh, you you understand the value of emotions how emotions are important how we shouldn't um, <clears throat> shouldn't stop ourselves from exp expressing ourselves right uh, I, I, I even feel like for some of you you are understanding that crying is such an important thing to do because in our society always uh, people label if someone cries a lot people label them as weak but uh, no it's not that it, they're, they're very strong so they can cry right it's, it's such a strong thing to do so I feel like you're someone who's going to talk about emotions a lot maybe you are a psychiatrist, psychiatrist I don't know counselor therapist maybe it's like you are going to take you know that's the blessing you are going to be I feel for group number three you you whatever work you're doing even if you're not a counselor therapist whatever work in any fa uh, shape or form the you know the words that you give to other people the advice that you give to other people uh, actually takes them from their own overthinking and give them the, give them the air to breathe like that's what I'm getting here for you guys and uh, and the love that you sh you know you ooze out love group number three and that's so so nice <laughs> you ooze out love uh, but there is a chance for you guys to take other people's energy you think about other people you stress about other people you have this no you know you need to practice non-attachment that is something I'm seeing here because you get attached to other people's emotions a lot so you need to protect yourself uh, with the you know archangels are there around you ask for their help ask archangel Michael for their help that's what I'm getting here look the keys and I feel like you have problems to you know you have solutions to every problems that's what I'm getting here loving yourself self-care is something uh, I feel like if you are someone who is interested in <clears throat> teaching about self-care or emotions and all go for it if you, if you are if you want to study if you're someone who is a student watching this and if you're like right now in this uh, in this crossroad what what career should I opt for what studies uh, you know some maybe for some of you you are you want uh, you are at that position where you don't know what to study next so if you are interested in psychology counseling and something like that with emotions go for it okay guys because you are very good at it uh, then look again the angels are there fairies are there and we have the rabbit so things are going to move forward for you guys okay if things have been stuck things are moving forward okay yeah that's the message for group number three hope you got some clarity i'll see you soon bye bye number four if you have chosen the energy let's see what is the message uh, what blessings what are the blessings that you don't see coming okay if you're going through a loss i feel like you will be over this loss okay if it's a heartbreak you you will be able to heal that heartbreak that's the message here and that's the blessing that you don't see it yet wow <laughs> love begins oh my god look at the rainbows and again i told you if you have been going through a hard heartbreak you're going to heal that you're going to take care of yourself and you're going to love life again so if you are someone who is feeling lack in some areas of your life if you're feeling the scarcity if you're feeling like you have been left out in the cold alone you will not be feeling that anymore and that is the blessing here that you don't see right now for some of you a person will enter and because of that person things will change for you guys for others it is an idea that you will have and because of it you will be very passionate with that idea and you will you'll be able to release the loss the pain okay and for others it's like you're taking care of yourself you're building your self-esteem you're building your confidence and because of it you're feeling you know you're feeling life you're you're uh, you're getting that enthusiasm back right you're not feeling discontent or bored anymore so that's what i'm getting here and the cup is uh, feel again maybe you you lost your spark or you lost your confidence but you're gaining it back and that's the blessing then you're not seeing right now if you have lost hope the blessing is the hope is going to restore the hope is going to be restored okay and you're feeling happy again that's the thing yeah that's the thing hmm. let's see what else okay we have uh, power yeah wow 
So I feel like your masculine and your feminine energy is going to get balanced. For some of you, this is a new relationship, okay? Because I have been getting the masculine and feminine energy. I don't know why uh, I got that one. Uh, so maybe for some of you, this is a new information that is making you feel happy. Like sometimes in life, we... Uh, we are ignorant of certain things because we don't have the knowledge so for you guys you're getting clarity about something so you're like yeah i didn't have that clarity that's why i felt discontent that's why i felt like hopeless now i have this information i can do anything so you are understanding your own power your own courage that how strong you are how confident you are so it's it's like you are gaining your confidence back you are not feeling um, discontent anymore you're not feeling hopeless anymore so that's the blessing here so yes there is a shift in the way you think about life so again like the blessing is like you're feeling full of life you're feeling full of energy you're feeling happy you're you're content with yourself you're doing things at your own pace you're not comparing yourself to other people you're feeling very courageous and maybe for some of you have gone through a, lo a big loss in your life you're overcoming that loss and you are finding your own courage you're very courageous people that's what i'm getting and you are ready to live life again after this loss okay so that's the that's the thing i'm getting here yeah you're understanding you're the tiger you're not the sheep anymore you don't have to follow the crowd you're understanding your own potential and that is the blessing you're infinite you're understanding you're infinite you are an infinite being with infinite possibilities. <laughs> and let's see what else is the blessing that you don't see coming. Group number four. Look, the yang energy again. The sun. The sun is going to shine. You know, you were feeling, maybe right now you're feeling that you are in the dark. You're not seeing the light. And the blessing is that light is coming. The rainbows are coming, right? The, you, the life is you know you can see you you are overcoming that dark but in this dark times you understood who you are how powerful you are and that is also a blessing here and it's like you're finding that light at the end of the tunnel so maybe for some of you I, as i told you have gone through some sort of loss and you're you are uh, surrendering to divine and this loss has made you so strong because of this loss you're gaining so much of confidence so much of courage you're understanding how, how courageous you are because of this loss, because of this dark period. So yeah, the sun is going to shine. You're coming in this, I mean, look again, the masculine and feminine, you're balancing your masculine and your feminine energy. Uh, you're becoming more positive. You're expressing yourself. You're doing the things. You have the energy to do things, to take action, right? If you're right now in a space where you don't feel like doing anything, surrender to sleep, surrender to rest because this is going to change, okay? So yeah, there is momentum, there is like there is forward forward motion, things are going to move forward. Like um, uh, you are getting all your vitamins, you're feeling recharged, you're, you have a lot of uh, energy, right? Your energy is back, you're living your life with full, uh, full, like you full energy, like you're happy, that's what I'm getting here, okay? So that's the, that's the message here, so. The passion is back. The passion is back. Like you're hopping away. With, I'm getting the frog. Like the, you're hopping away from this negative energies, negative people, this loss. Now you're moving into a space where you can see the light, where you can see things very clearly, where things are very, very clear. You're not ignorant to anything, right? You, you're getting the knowledge that you want and you know what to do, when to take action, when to rest. So that's what I'm getting here. And you're taking care of yourself as well. You're valuing yourself more as well. And you are understanding that your journey is different from others. So you're not comparing your journey to other people, right? So yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Let's see what is the blessing. Oh, that's a lot. If you have failed in something recently, you're going to accept that failure and you're going to release that shame, guilt, anything like that associated with it and you're going to take action. You're going to uh, be like, yes, I was not able to uh, do that at my first try. I will try it again. Like you're, you're becoming very positive. Like, yeah, you're releasing that negativity and that's the blessing here. Let's see what else for you guys. Maybe an idea didn't work out. My, my, you might have gone through a huge loss. Maybe someone didn't accept that idea. Maybe someone didn't accept you. And finally you are accepting yourself. 
and when we accept ourselves that is when the change happens right so you're accepting yourself you're loving yourself you're accepting that you're powerful you're courageous and you're you're standing in your power and you're becoming more confident and you're shining <laughs> that's the thing right you're not putting your value uh, into other people's words right you know sometimes we put our value like we wait for other people to appreciate us now what you're doing is like you're not you're not doing that you don't want other people appreciation if they want to appreciate it's okay it's good but you're not waiting for that you're not putting your expectations on other people you're rather you're putting it in, on yourself right and you're working towards it that's the thing i'm getting here you're getting into that energy guys in the future i see you let's see <clears throat> oh you got to Mm, we have stargate of lyra expand your casual chakra uh, enter the unicorn kingdom and we have magical crystal cave so amethyst crystal i'm getting amethyst crystal for some of you maybe uh, if you can work with amethyst, amethyst crystal it's going to be very very good for you guys switch on your inner light bring forward your gifts again the color look at the color it's um it's a purple color and we have the key we have the number eight here we have a number six i feel like it's a number six <laughs> and we have number three and number four right uh, so we have number one we have number four we have number three we have number eight maybe these are important numbers for you guys okay but definitely um, the heart space i feel like you're opening your heart center with again with this love begins you're opening your heart to yourself uh, you're op opening your heart you're loving yourself um, you're ready to receive i feel like you're over as i told you healing your heart you that's the that's the message for you guys here you're healing your heart you're over this dark period I feel like you're awakening to new information. Uh, you're awakening to you, you know, infinite possibilities. You're understanding that you have infinite possibilities. You can be anything that you want. You're having that faith. That faith is coming back, and that's the blessing. I feel like you're feeling uh, like yes, things will happen the way you want. You know, it's like you are overcoming the loss. You are becoming more positive, and that's the blessing. and of course i even feel like your crown chakra is open uh, messages you're getting a lot of messages guidance you're seeing a lot of signs so take that signs take that good signs uh, and keep it with you think about it think about it often keep the faith because good things are happening for you guys success i see success i even see that if you are uh, if you were in behind the curtains you're going to be on the stage are you going to be recognized for your work like the sun the sun cannot hide right it's it's been seen by everyone so you are also going to be seen for your work you're going to be recognized for your work and that is also a blessing so what you need to do is to trust yourself and if you are doing something secretly if there is some sort of skills that you are doing and you haven't shown to other people it's time to get out of the curtain and it's time to be on the spotlight okay so yeah and don't let your past decide that you are not uh, good enough and all let go of that past thing okay yeah maybe in in the past you might have failed but that's not true for you guys now so be confident and keep on shining show your gifts to the people come out of uh, your secret cave right that's the message let's see what else that's a lot I will just shuffle again and let's check the final message. What is the blessing that they don't see coming to come for? Ah, yes, liberty, freeing. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from the pain. You're free, freeing yourself from the loss, and you're understanding that um, that sometimes in our life we need to go through the dark period so we can understand ourselves better. so you in i feel like if you are in this dark period you're going to understand how courageous you are how strong you are and how much how how like 
I feel like in my darkest period is when I understood about myself. At that, you know, before that I was like, I don't have any talent. I cannot do anything. I have to be dependent on other people. Like at my darkest time, I understood that I can do anything by myself. Right? So that's, that's what I feel like. You know, sometimes we put ourselves in a, comfort, a, a box and we feel like that we are here for that box only. We don't have capabilities. We cannot step out of the box by ourselves. It's just our mind that puts us in a box because we, because of, maybe it's because of our environment. We feel like that we cannot do things, but I feel like now what you're doing is like you're understanding your own power. You're understanding your own courage and you're understanding that. Uh, you can be anything that you want and so you're freeing yourself from your own limited beliefs and you're loving yourself finally you're accepting yourself that's what i'm getting here okay finally you're accepting the way you are the way you look maybe it can be anything maybe you didn't accept you know you had problems with your part of a body maybe you wanted to change something in your body but now i feel like the blessing is like you're accepting yourself you're freeing yourself from other people's expectation you're freeing yourself from uh, the loss that you had encountered in the past you're freeing yourself uh, from the embarrassment that you had gone in your past you're freeing yourself from guilt you're freeing yourself from the shame that you have felt in the past you're freeing yourself uh, from the fear of failures you're freeing yourself um, from your uh, you know maybe some from your own thoughts like that is not good negative thoughts you're freeing yourself from the fear to try new things and that's what I'm getting here and that's the blessing you're bec you are choosing you and that's the blessing yeah finally you're choosing you and you are ready to come out of this cake. Uh, so sorry, come out of this cage. Why I said cake? And okay, you are ready to come out of this cage, and you are going to fly. But you were, you know, you were so afraid of flying that you just remained in the cage, and now you are like, no, I have outgrown this cage. I cannot be in this cage anymore. I have to fly and find my freedom and find myself. It's like you're finding yourself. And that you're finding yourself in this dark period. So this dark period is also a blessing to find yourself, right? So yeah, that's the message here for you guys. Let's see the charms, what the charms have to add. Yeah, emotions, the fish. Look, dragonfly change. There's definitely change happening for you guys. You're... You're getting out of this dark period. You're overcoming this loss. And I feel like you need to take control of your emotions. Whenever you're thinking too much, uh, overthinking, get back and um, write down all these thoughts that are not necessary and burn it. Okay, you can do that. And yes, again, you're freeing yourself from this cage. That's one thing. I'm even getting you're freeing yourself from a person who always blah, 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 blah. They tell you that do this, do that, do this. You cannot do that. Like your restrictions you're freeing yourself from the restrictions i feel like that maybe someone restricted you in some way you're freeing yourself from that person maybe you took this person very seriously if they say something you know sometimes we put our expectations on other people and like for example if your spouse you're you are wearing a dress that you love and your spouse is like no 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 this is not looking good you need to change so you are like oh this person doesn't like that even though i like this dress this person doesn't like that. So that means it's not nice. So I have to change. Like you put your expectation, you had put your expectation on someone. Now what I'm getting is like you're letting go of that and you're putting your expectations on yourself. Like you're doing what you want to do, what makes you happy, right? So that's something I'm getting here. December month, maybe the important month for you guys. We have DEC. Okay. Then we have K. We have D. We have Q. And then we have number one. Yeah, new beginning. It's a new beginning for you guys. Again, Ace of Cups, it's a new feeling for you guys. It's like feeling happy within yourself, feeling content within yourself, being happy for, your, for yourself, practicing self-love, doing small, small things and feeling happy. You know, it's the feeling of um, newness, is the feeling of freedom, not, you know, sometimes we put ourselves in a cage because of other people's expectations. So we try to fit in, fit in, fit in. And when we are fitting in, we lose ourselves and what I'm getting here for you guys now you have learned to love yourself 
and now you don't want to fit in anymore <laughs> now you are like uh, you don't care what others want to say about you you are just going to be you and you're going to express yourself and you're going to fly high <laughs> that's what i'm getting here for you guys okay so it's like a change of perception is it's this is the change in you and uh, and that's awesome right so that's all i have for group number one bye bye oh, i'm so sorry i said group number one <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. Maybe there is a message in group number one. Uh, so yeah, group number four. Bye-bye. Take care.